in all, there's not so many songs. The moment you listen to it, you really can help but think about the words. The best song ever written. Who's also in this club? Moon River, Bridge Over Troubled Water, Ball of Tsin Dances. I just wanted to include a Russian song here, I'm sorry. It's hard to do the song like that justice in a little video like this, or 10 videos. I won't even bother to play it. Popularity of the song means lots of lessons and covers too, and I strongly recommend you to check out the lesson by one and only Justin Guitar. It's amazing. It covers all the chords, all the guitar leaks, which really isn't my thing. I'm more into simple strumming and brothers and arms is a very easy song for strumming. The first line of the song is taken from an old Scottish ballad and the whole song is like this old folk ballad with basic chords. G, C, F, A minor. And because the song is so much keyboard inspired and in such an odd key for guitar players, G sharp minor, the only way to really make it guitar friendly is to tune the guitar half step down. and play it in A minor. Not only that, it makes soloing more visual and easier to grasp. Simple playing in A minor, like you do. Of course, there's a way to play it with a couple on the 4th fret in regular tuning, but I never felt that it really works for one guitar. It works great in a band situation, but as you can see, there is no band. I'd say, if you want to play this song on your own, Play it either without a couple or like this. Tuned down version works really well. All the nuances and the bottom end of E minor, I like that. Even the intro bass, intro bass line kind of works. It works beautiful and sounds great along with other amazing acoustic songs like Paul Simon songs or even Mark's own songs. It sounds familiar, doesn't it? The song is great enough to beat the laziness of retuning your guitar really. The intro is A minor, F, D minor, has to A minor. Very straightforward and epic at the same time. With great songs you can almost feel the next chord, as if the song was written for you. The verse is F, G, C, C sus4. It sounds very folky to me. E minor with B in the bass. A minor. E minor. F. G. G sus4 to G, folk again. A minor, F, G sus4 to G. The 
main ingredient is all these nuances. For instance, take this A sus2 chord. You can't play it as smooth in started tuning. So is this D minor sixth chord in a solo section. This one gives so much tension and again is too hard to play in regular tuning. Don't forget about F major 7 chord. You can also play more bass. Also this part before the solo sounds amazing. I can't say nothing revolutionary here, it's just a great great song which is out there to inspire. You know people write to me things like, I played guitar a long time ago and never played it ever since and your lessons gave me inspiration to resume my playing, that this is my goal. It's not a lesson per se because I'm not a teacher, I just want you to retune the guitar half step down and play the song in the best way it deserves after having real organ, bass and drums. And I can't talk much about licks because I think it's more important to understand the drum than just to play it. For instance, the verse begins and... <laughs> There's certain things Mark always play and just try to follow this, like combining this A minor pentatonic with E minor pentatonic. In the verse, and then it goes to the E minor chord. Or originally it's actually D sharp minor. Th this transition alone can make you play all night and day or using of D minor triad, all of this. Over this F chord. This is too technical for purposes of my video, anyway. Great songs would always sound great at any scale, from one ukulele and a couple of friends playing, to church organs and symphonic orchestras. As with 5.15 am, if you just played the full song with one guitar and a sheet of lyrics in front of you, it is so well written, it gives you as many goosebumps as all the versions that, that we all love and watch millions and millions of times everywhere on earth. I guess as a Russian I have a little responsibility for this song, if you know what I mean, and I hope you've learned something new. It's truly amazing how Mark can find a place or dignity in an, even in a war song like Brother in Arms. Moreover, I think the message of dignity and optimism, as always, is the key that makes his songs so successful and inspiring. Stop fighting, keep playing, and thanks for watching.